Hello everyone, I'm here today with another process video. This is a double page, six by eight pocket layout. These photos are from the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart in Winona, Minnesota. So this is part of my Winona album. It's a day trip I took with some girlfriends back in May of 2021. Still working on it, getting closer to the end. This one hopefully will go pretty quickly because I have all my photos here. I only have one pocket I need to fill and I've already picked out the card I want to use. I've decided to go with this one because it leaves me quite a bit of room to journal. The blue works nicely with what I've got going on there and not just the darker blue, but the lighter blue as well. So this seemed pretty perfect for what I wanted. So I'm going to use that. I have a lot of empty space here, so I need to stamp or use phrases or ephemera or something down there. I also could do something at the top here because there's dead space happening. I don't know about up here. This is pretty full. Might be able to squeeze in something down here. This is full as well, so I'm just not sure. I'm thinking it might be here, 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 and that's it. But I'm not even sure what those things will be. But at least I have a game plan. I do also think I want to use some red because if you look at these photos, there's red in every photo. So I like the idea of doing that. There's also a little purple here, right a little bit in here. And then the when the sun was shining through the window, you could see it reflected on the floor. But I don't know if I'd be able to work in purple here really because there's none over here. I'd have to do it very carefully. So I'm not sure about that. But at least I have a good amount to start with here. I decided that rather than starting with all of my travel stuff, I would just start with my everyday kind of embellishments. And I have found some things I might want to use. On this sticker sheet, this blue over here, I might be able to use the one that says memories or love today. I think they would both work and the color would match nicely with the stained glass. I have this set of chipboard stickers and I like this one that says, check this out, it's in red. So there's the red, and I was thinking maybe down here because you could see it, you know, shining through the window on the floor. I thought that might be cool. And then I have this set as well, and I liked the idea of using the one behind the camera. But when you look at it, it's kind of a weird red. It's almost an orangey red. It's not the same color as this one. So I'm not sure how I feel about using that. I think there's enough color going that it wouldn't be too distracting because like in here it is some orangey red so maybe I could get away with that. And then on here I just have this big red star that I thought might work again to fill some dead space over here. So I have some good options already with what I have found. I'm also going to go through this bag of just miscellaneous everyday kind of phrases to see if there's anything in there that would also work with what I've got. I did find some phrases in addition to the sticker that I liked. I found this one, Everyday Adventure, which the colors in it are pretty perfect. This one that's red, Imperfection is Beauty. I thought maybe that would work here because the reflection is imperfect, but it was still beautiful to see those colors reflected on the floor. And then I found this little one that says, An Awesome Story. And I like that it has rounded edges on it. It just gives a nice visual appeal. So I have a nice mix of things happening here. And then on the side of my desk, I happened to look over and I had this little piece of, I think this was a tag or something that I had cut off and used the rest. And this is what was left. And I didn't have a plan for it, but I realized I could maybe use it like this and then layer some of those phrases over it because that blue matches as well. So We'll see what I can do here. I think I want to use this because it takes up a nice amount of the floor. It also has these lines in here that intersect and it reminds me of what you see on the floor here. So I think it all would work nicely. I just have to figure out how to make it all work together. I have attached what was left in the tag here and I am going to use this red phrase, but I changed my mind on using this one. I just think it's a little too close to what I have here already, so I'm not going to use that. And then I pulled out a bunch of other blue phrases here, and I didn't really like any of these for what I have. But then I decided to go into just my stickers. And I found this set, and I love how bright this blue is. It's pretty close to that card. And 
there are several that I could use here. I think maybe I'm going to either do so awesome or documented, but again, there are several I could use here. So I reserve the right to change my mind at the last minute once I'm putting it together. It turns out that I did change my mind. I decided to go with the one that said full of wonder instead because we were full of wonder as we were looking at that beautiful stained glass. So I decided to use that and I love how it looks when it's layered. I think that's probably enough over here. If I did anything, I might add a little star or an enamel dot or something right here, but for now I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to take this phrase here and I'm going to put it right up at the top left to fill some of that dead space. Once that is done, then I have to figure out, do I want to add something here to give myself kind of a visual triangle there? And if I do add it, what is that going to be? I was trying to figure out what other embellishments I could use, and I think I've decided to go with these acrylic stars I have. They are glitter stars. Hopefully the camera's picking that up well. These are from Bramble Fox in case you like them. I don't know that these are still carried, but that's where I got them. And it was a mix of gold and red. And I think like the red is too much here, but the gold brings out the yellow tones here. This is a yellowy brown and then there's yellow here as well. So I think I can do a visual triangle with those. I do think I want to overlap a circle or something here. This might be a little too big, but I'm not sure. I might be able to get away with it. If not, I do have another one of these that's the same size, but I like the idea of maybe having the bigger open one instead. All right, I did manage to get all three of the acrylic stars on there, and I did go with the bigger one for this one. I just took a circular element that I had. I cut off a little bit at the bottom where it was overlapping, put in a staple, and then attached the star there. And then I added this one over here, just where I thought I would. And then I have this one up in this corner. For some reason, this one is being really persnickety. It doesn't want to dry and stick. The other ones have been fine, so I'm not sure what the problem is with this one, but I'm gonna let it sit and dry a little bit more before I put everything in the pockets. It will also give me a chance to just look at the layout again and make sure that I don't want to add anything else to either of these pockets. All right. This star still would not dry, so I gave up waiting for that, and I actually just got out my red line tape, cut off a tiny little bit, stuck it to the back, and now it appears that it has stuck much better. So I'm not sure what happened there. I used the same glue I always do. It worked on the other ones, but not this one, but now it's fixed. And as sometimes happens when I think I'm done with the layout, I'm really not. I ended up adding some stuff here, and I went with this sticker. It says, Beautiful Story added it right up to the top and that's because I did notice there was this beautiful green in here and I thought well I could maybe add that in if it's just a little bit so I was able to find that sticker and then for the other side I found another one same set and it just says treasure and I thought okay well I could stack that above these and then I actually end up having three phrases which in the end I like better than just having the two. And then with the star, I think that's just perfect. So here is another one finish for Winona. Thanks for watching.